Hello and a warm welcome to my exciting new Wren Kitchens video. Brace yourself for an incredible journey as I uncover all the essential details about Wren Kitchens. Before you decide to invest your hard-earned cash on a new kitchen, it's crucial to watch this indispensable video. Having personally chosen a Wren Kitchen not once but twice, I feel compelled to share my captivating story with you. In this video, I'll dive into both positive and negative customer reviews. The response I received when I reached out on Instagram to other Rain Kitchen reviews was nothing short of extraordinary. The floodgates opened in ways unimaginable. It became pretty clear to me early on when I started speaking to people about Wren. It is what I would call a Marmite company. You either absolutely love it, it's the best thing you've ever had, or you hate it, you wish you'd never bought a ring kitchen. There doesn't seem to be any middle ground. So I hope this review will be helpful if you've never heard of Wren or if you are considering buying a kitchen. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion and I'm gonna share other people's honest opinions and keep watching to the end and I'll let you know about my two Wren kitchen purchases. This video is gonna be broken down into four parts. I'll be dishing out my insights in four appetizing servings. One, a quick taste of Wren Kitchen's history. Two, the heated debate swirling around about Wren. Three, a flavorful mix of genuine customer stories. And finally, the cherry on the top, my very own Wren customer kitchen saga. First, hit that subscribe button. Consider it your all access free pass to my treasure trove of home makeover advice, crafty DIY shortcuts, and unbiased evaluations of various establishments. Subscribing is a breeze, it won't cost you a penny, but it packs a punch for supporting my channel. So, are you ready for some fun? Let's dive straight in. Wren Kitchens is opening a new factory at its site at Barton upon Humber, taking the total workforce to over a thousand. So very briefly, Wren Kitchens was founded in 2009. The management team behind Wren traded for 10 years in the United States before selling the business and returning to the UK. The company currently employs over 4,000 people and is one of the largest employers in the Humber region. In 2019, Wren was named Retail Employer of the Year by Jobs website, Indeed. Until December 2013, the headquarters were in Howden, in the East Riding of Yorkshire in the UK, where it still operates a factory. Wren manufactures all of its kitchens units in its own production plant in Scunthorpe, Howden, and Barton upon Humber. In January 2019, Wren Kitchen signed up for a whopping 150,000 square foot warehouse at the Humber Enterprise Park near Hull. According to Wikipedia, Wren Kitchens is part of the West Retail Group, which also included online retail eBuyer until its acquisition earlier this year. During 2022, Wren Kitchens opened new showrooms opening in Hereford, Kings Lynn and Crawley, taking the total to over 108 stores. Recently filed accounts for Ring Kitchens Limited turnover was 1.07 billion, recorded in the year ending 31st of December 2022, and that was up from 916 million in 2021. I also discovered that Wren Kitchens has just been crowned as the National Retailer of the Year for the third consecutive year at the esteemed Bic B Awards 2024. Among top competition from Wix, B&Q and Homebase, Wren emerged as the well-deserved winner, much to their delight. Wren commented, Wren's commitment to quality in everything they do and their benchmark end-to-end -end customer experience that have become synonymous with the Wren brand stood them head and shoulders above the competition to be crowned worthy winners last night. Okay, let's look at a little bit of Wren Kitchens controversy. In 2015, Wren Kitchens was investigated by BBC Watchdog for poor customer service. The investigation found that the company provided incomplete orders and was slow to resolve issues. The company stated that they were investing in improving their customer service department. In spring 2016, Wren Living was ranked second to last out of 12 kitchen brands assessed by the Consumer Association Rich. And in March 2016, the company was fined £12,000 for misleading customers on kitchen pricing in violation of the regulations. I wanted to gather customer reviews, so I checked Trustpilot, which had a mix of reviews. I was curious about the opinions of other customers who had dealt with Wren Kitchen, so I decided to reach out to my Instagram followers to gather more feedback. I created a story where I asked fellow customers of Wren to share their thoughts and experiences with me, whether good or bad. In addition, 
I came across two Facebook groups. One was called Wren Kitchen Reviews UK and Wren Kitchen Disasters with a membership of over 47,000 and 12,000 respectively. To collect more feedback, I posted a request in these groups for customers to kindly share their experiences, assuring them that if they wanted to remain anonymous, they could. So with anticipation, I patiently awaited their responses. Throughout my research for this video, I had the opportunity to engage with numerous customers. While many of them expressed sheer delight with their experience, though also a fair few had some negative feedback. Rest assured, this video is just the beginning of a series. I received responses from several Ren customers and decided to share three positive and three negative reviews. Considering my own review is split 50-50, I found it fitting to represent both sides. On a separate note, I made an effort to contact Ren Kitchens with a myriad of inquiries. I reached out to their PR media contact via email, so keep watching and I'll be revealing how they responded to me. Now let's start with a positive review from a happy Ren customer. The first review comes from Danielle. She and her partner have utilised Ren for their home renovations, both in 2020 and 2023. They found the entire process to be incredibly easy, allowing them to design their kitchen exactly how they wanted it. They purchased units and appliances from Ren and encountered no issues. By sourcing their own natural stone hands and taps, they were able to elevate the overall design and achieve a high-end feel at a reasonable price. And I must say, this kitchen looks absolutely stunning, especially the quartz. Another delighted customer shared their experience with me. They had a Wren kitchen installed last year and absolutely love it. They said they had a very talented fitter who quickly resolved any issues or changes that arose during the process, resulting in a brilliant overall experience. Another happy customer told me that they used the recommended fitter from Wren. He also offered additional services that she paid him direct for, like the electrics and the plumbing. It meant he managed the whole fitting, which was excellent. He was there when the granite people came to make sure it was right. He returned after the floor was fitted to finish off the plinths. Absolutely recommended. Now, let's dive into the first negative review. Let's call this customer Sue. So Sue purchased a magnificent £27,000 kitchen in September 2021. Sue shares her frustrating experience with Ren Kitchens, claiming they have been nothing but a headache since day one. From poorly fitted and damaged panels to unreliable and unprofessional fitters, it's been a roller coaster ride for Sue. Imagine this, Ren ordered Sue new panels to replace the mismatched ones originally delivered. Sue then received the wrong colour. Even the fitter, when he arrived to fit the incorrect panels, agreed that the whole ordeal should have been dragged on for years. Sue was fuming. To make matters worse, Sue's living room transformed into a storage unit for six months. Overcrowded with boxes upon boxes of kitchen panels, it got to the point where she had to stash them under her husband's bed. Taking time off work repeatedly, becoming the norm, with Wren Kitchens accusing Sue of damaging the panels whenever she dared to take them out of the boxes to check them, so she stopped. But guess what? Even when the remedial fitters arrived, the panels were still damaged. Frustration level maxed out. But here's the kicker. Sue had another panel-related nightmare with her kitchen island. When the remedial fitter came to fix the poorly fitted panels, they found that it was filled with wax, and Sue could even slide her fingers under the worktops. Overall, this entire kitchen renovation has been an absolute disaster for Sue. It has taken its toll on her health, leaving her longing for a completed kitchen. The worst part? Sue is alleging that Ren Kitchens is now threatening to take back the whole kitchen, demanding Sue to disconnect her appliances and terminating her contract with Barclays Partner Finance. All this over a £27,000 kitchen. My next review, I'm going to call her Alison. So Alison purchased the Infinity White Handless Kitchen for Wren with the assumption that it would be a durable choice. However, she sadly discovered this is not as hard wearing as she expected. Even with two gentle adults, it's easily getting scuffed and one can only imagine how it will fare when there's children around. My next customer review is, we'll call him Steve. So Steve initially purchased his kitchen and entered into a contract with Wren in July 2018, paying just over £19,000. From a sales perspective, Wren appeared to be a highly professional and reputable company. 
However, this perception quickly proved to be misleading once the order was placed and the payment was processed. Upon the arrival of this kitchen, he was disheartened to discover that several units were damaged. Nevertheless, this was the least of his worries. In mid-2021, he noticed and reported that multiple units, including doors and drawer fronts from the Infinity Plus range, were showing signs of delamination. When he raised the issue with Wren, Steve alleges they promptly dismissed it as an installation error and attempted to close his case without offering a fair resolution. So after numerous back and forth with Wren and their dismissive procedures, he was eventually offered replacements for the 40 products, which he then installed himself. Moving forward to late 2022, he once again observed delamination occurring not only in the previously replaced units, but also in other units within the kitchen. So I'm going to contact Ren with the three customer complaints that I've received and also other ones. I had so many on both sides, but I'm going to write to them. So do hit the subscribe button so you can see the follow-up video I'm going to do if I get a response for them about these three customers. And have you had an issue with delamination? It's a word that I've heard a lot in the last couple of weeks researching this video. It'd really be interesting to hear from you if you've had an issue with delamination because I do intend to come back to this in the next video. So let me talk to you about our Ren experience. So the first kitchen we bought, this is 2017. We bought a white handleless kitchen. We had an island, an L-shaped big bit. We had some wall units, we had a tower, we had an integrated fridge and all the standard bits. We ordered it from the Hay store. The guy was very helpful. We went with the layout of exactly what we wanted. He just entered it into the system. I think it's so important to go and know what you want for your space. So as you can see here, we had oak worktops, all the things you see like the cooker, the hood, the microwave, I sourced those all. We didn't buy any appliances from Wren apart from the fridge because they were doing a good price at the time. For our price, we paid about £11,000. For that, we that included the delivery. We did get a, our builders to fit it. We didn't use theirs. And we also got the matching laundry room to match. So this is our laundry room. There was a little gap for the dog bed. And our builder actually built the thing for the washing machine and the tumble dryer to go on. Uh, but we were fairly happy with it. This was a nice addition. And as you can see, that tool cupboard was literally just a tool cupboard. So fitting-wise, there wasn't any issues with the laundry room. It all slotted together. Our guys were pretty skilled, I have to be honest. I haven't personally used the Ren recommended fitters. I've always used my own. So you can see in here an arrow, these are one of the issues. We never received enough of that stripping. I don't even know what it's called, but we never got enough. Um, but as I say, this product was a turnaround quick. We did a big renovation and sold it on. And to be honest with you, never really noticed it. But had I been staying in the house, potentially I would have got that changed. So if you fast forward a couple of years, these are the estate agent's details from the person who bought it from us was then selling it and you'll notice that the gap is still there. So clearly it didn't bother them either. I did speak to her before she put it on the market and we had a general chat. She said the kitchen was absolutely fine, nothing, no issues. The only issue in that room was actually the bifold door handle broken, but she was very happy with the kitchen and very sad to be moving. So one of the other issues as you can see here, just about see a line in between that chair. Now, when we ordered this, we were told there'd be a big white back panel. When it arrived, there was actually a little thin strip, probably about two inches wide, and then two panels. So it did look a little bit cheap, I've got to be honest. So if you've got a very long island, when we ordered it, you couldn't get a full strip. So that was my only niggle and thing that was a bit annoying about this kitchen. Other than that, it was fine. It was a good price for what we paid, and it lasted. I don't think you can go wrong with a white gloss kitchen, and we were pretty happy. So... I would give it a seven and a half out of 10. So let me talk to you about our second kitchen. Now this that I'm showing you is the design that we did ourselves. Again, every time I do a kitchen, we kind of work out what we want and we take this with us and then to ask them to put the information in. I highly recommend that you do that. I'll link in the description box a tutorial I've got. This is free software where you can design yourself. I think it's such a good idea. So this is 2019. So we went to our local Ren again, I think it was Hayes again, and we ordered the Milano kitchen in color nero in the satin finish so we had a wall of towers at the back we had a peninsula in the middle with a hob in there it was also a freezer and cupboards and drawers and things and then on the other side we had some cupboards so this was for us 
a temporary kitchen. It was only gonna last us a few years. So I thought I would try having a black kitchen. Little did I know what was about to go wrong with this kitchen. Now this kitchen was in a satin finish and I can't begin to tell you how much it marked. It was impossible to keep this kitchen looking clean without the greasy fingerprint marks showing up. And it didn't, it wasn't just sticky children with sticky fingers. Every single time you touched it and the oil off your skin, I'm zooming in, you can see little bits then, literally were sticking to it. It drove me insane to the point where I nearly bought handles to this kitchen. So if you are thinking about getting this Milano, do not get it. I love black kitchens, but I would never in a million years recommend this because the material of the kitchen just sucks the oil, the moisture, everything. And honestly, you cannot get, in, get it looking clean. It looks smeary. You literally have to clean it every single time somebody touches it. And it absolutely drove me to despair. Then the major issue, which actually wasn't an issue in the end, if you notice here, I've got two panels again. They seem to like to do these back panels where you join up. You'll notice it wasn't really fitting very well, but the left-hand panel, you'll notice, has got a reflection because it's shiny. The right-hand one is the mat. They had sent us two back panels, both with the protected covers on, but what was interesting is they both had the same label on, which basically said they were both ultra Nero satin but they weren't because one was gloss. Now, when I pulled the covers off of the unit, my kitchen fitter was still here. He literally gasped when I showed him because he knew the work that would be involved if I wanted it replacing. And what I decided to do in the end, because this was only gonna be a temporary kitchen, we actually got another stall. You couldn't really see it. I pulled it off and nobody ever noticed and I didn't contact Ren because for it wouldn't have just been changing the panel. The whole unit would have to have been taken apart. The top was glued on, it was all screwed together. The cooker was all wired in. It would have been a nightmare. So I never did anything. So I don't know if they would have changed it super easily. Apologize. I don't know. I never gave them the opportunity to change it. So that was an issue. We did get completely the wrong thing. It was clearly human error because it had the wrong sticker on it. It was shiny black, not matte black. So. That was a major issue but for me this kitchen looks beautiful if you live in like one of those selling sunset mansions where you never cook anything and never go in the kitchen beautiful if you want to use your kitchen do not have this kitchen it will drive you mad i've noticed people on forums have been asking about this kitchen asking about the stains the only thing that came close to getting the marks out was a tub of pink stuff and a soft wet cloth and very slowly wipe it. But you don't wanna do that every single time someone has used the kitchen. I honestly can't tell you, it drove me absolutely mad. Other than that, I loved it. It was a beautiful kitchen. We were happy with the price. Again, I sourced all the appliances myself, the worktop I bought myself, my Kruka tap, everything, and I used my own fitter. Kitchen-wise, it was fine. We had it for three years, and then it was um, given to our builder, actually, and he has it in his house. So I also said I'd let you know what Ren said to me when I emailed them a number of questions. Well, you might not be surprised, but I haven't had a response. At the time of filming this video, they've not got back to me, but if they do get back to me, I will add the information in the description box below. So are you a Ren customer? Do you love your kitchen? Do you hate your kitchen? Or are you thinking about putting a Ren kitchen in? Do let me know. Do you think other brands are better than Ren? The comment section is open. Please do put in whatever you like. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Let me know your thoughts on Ren Kitchens. I'd love to hear from you. I am gonna be doing a follow up to this video. I'm gonna give Ren a chance to reply to me and then I will do a part two because I've received lots of information that I'd like to continue on with. So I am gonna do some more reviews. I've also had a Wix kitchen, a Housen's kitchen, and I've also got my current kitchen nightmare, a really expensive 60,000 pound kitchen that has turned into the kitchen from hell. So I do hope you found this video interesting. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.